nuclear submarines have long been a favorite in popular fiction. From movies such as The Hunt for Red October to long-running TV series like Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, they have always been portrayed as awesome instruments of geopolitical power gliding quietly through the gloomy deep on secret, serious missions. But at the end of their useful lives the subs essentially become floating nuclear hazards, fizzing with lethal, spent nuclear fuel that's extremely hard to get out. Nuclear navies have had to go to extraordinary lengths to cope with their bloated and aging cold, war fleets of hunter-killer and ballistic missile nuclear subs. As a result, some of the strangest industrial graveyards on the planet have been created, stretching from the U.S. Pacific Northwest, via the Arctic Circle to Russia Pacific Fleet, home of Vladivostok.